All right, we are on the second part of the lab, and this is going to be about osmosis that occurs with eggs. So for this lab, you're going to need vinegar and eggs, and then solutions, which we don't have out right this second. But Ms. Haller has an egg, and what she's going to do, and we're going to do this three times, so we're going to have three eggs. You're going to put the egg into a cup, and then cover it with vinegar. And we're going to let them set overnight for at least one day because we're going to dissolve the shells and expose their cell membrane. All right, so after a day of sitting in the vinegar, we're going to take the eggs and we're going to take them to the sink, dump out the vinegar, and what we're going to do is we're going to rinse off any remaining shell on those eggs. And you have to be really careful when you're doing this because they're very squishy and soft and really we're just rubbing off any of the leftover shell to try to get as much of it off as we can. And sometimes it just takes a little patience. As she's gently rubbing the egg, you could see that the shell is kind of disappearing more and exposing that beige colored membrane beneath. So she's finishing up right now and she has all the shell off. Very nice. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you're gonna get a paper towel and dry it off a little bit. Lovely, and now you're gonna take the cup that it was in, rinse it out if there's any vinegar in it, and you're gonna dry out the cup. And actually, before you leave the egg like that, we had to let the egg kind of air out for a day, and we're going to uh, put the egg in a nest. So you're gonna take a few paper towels, and wad them up and shove them in the cup and put it at the top, the very top, so it's exposed to air and so the paper towel could absorb any moisture left over. So here they are, all three eggs with their shells removed, rinsed and in a cup on a paper towel to air out for a day. And then tomorrow we'll come back to them after they air out a little bit and dry out and we'll move on to the next part of the lab. Okay, so we left the eggs overnight to kind of air out, and now we're ready to continue with the next part of the lab, which is procedure step number five. The first thing that we're gonna do is take the mass of each of the eggs. The reason that we're doing this is because this lab is on osmosis, and in order to see or be able to tell whether or not water goes in or out of these cells, we need to mass them. So Ms. Haller is going to take the mass of every egg and gently put it into the weighing boat on the scale. And then write that number into the data table on the paper in the before. and then she's placing the eggs back into an empty cup and removing the paper towels. Here's the numbers that you should be writing down. They're before mass. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add different solutions that have different concentrations of sugar in them. And so these three solutions, are we just call them solution one, solution two, and solution three. So obviously solution one will go on egg one and cover it up. Solution two will go on egg two. And solution three will go on egg three. These eggs need to sit a little bit while longer, so anywhere between about four or five hours. Usually we just come back the next day, but we'll come back in a little bit and see if osmosis occurred and in which 
cells it occurred in. So one of the solutions is going to be isotonic, one of them is going to be hypertonic, and the other one is going to be hypotonic. And based on their mass and how the mass changes, we should be able to tell which one's which. It's been several hours. We put the eggs in their solutions early in the morning, and it's now the afternoon, which is enough time. And so if I come over here and look at the eggs, one, two, and three, hopefully you could see that some changes have occurred. So the last part of the lab is that we're gonna take these eggs out of their solutions, rinse them off, dry them off, and mass them. And so we'll take them over to the sink, dump the solution, rinse the egg gently, dry them off, and take their mass. After you take their mass, record that information in the after mass of the data table. So each one of these eggs were placed in different solutions, and as I mentioned before, each of the solution represents the three solutions that we talked about earlier in the lab. So one of them is going to be hypotonic, one of them is going to be hypertonic, and one of them is going to be isotonic. And here's the data that you need to write down on this data table for you to be able to finish the rest of the lab. And if you look at this data table, there's a column on the far right that's an example. And so if that was the example data, you would use those numbers to fill in the change in mass, and then we show you how to do it, the total mass gained or lost, the percent change in the mass using the information on the top to fill out that information, then use the example to help you out too, the percent mass gained or lost, whether water moved in or out or both, and what tonicity that cell was in that caused a potential change. And then on the back, there are nine questions that you need to answer about this part of the lab. If you're unsure, go to your osmosis notes and you could use that information and the information from the data table to help answer these questions on the lab.